5, and the dew point is just a little bit lower. Now, I was talking about heavy rain falling across the area. A flood advisory has been issued here for Washera and Wapaka counties. That is up until 4 o'clock this afternoon. This is an area where it's been raining pretty hard for the last several hours, and it's been a very interesting day across northeast Wisconsin. It's a situation where some of us have had little or no rain, and others are seeing flooding rain. In fact, as we take a look at Storm Shield radar here just a little bit closer, you can see we've got heavy rain falling now just to the west of Oshkosh and Fond du Lac, back through Green Lake and Marquette counties, and then north through Washera County and Wapaka counties. Some very heavy rain here just to the north and east of Watoma, also to the north of Wapaka. And this rain just kind of keeps redeveloping in the same area, and that's why we could be looking at a flooding situation in those areas. Flood advisory up until 4 o'clock. We'll have to wait and see if that's extended or upgraded or if we have additional flood advisories issued as we move through the afternoon and evening. Here is the rainfall estimate off the Doppler radar. Once again, little or nothing in the Green Bay area. We've had some scattered showers at times in Appleton and Oshkosh, but really all the activity has been to the south and west, where many spots are now recording anywhere from two to as much as three inches of rain just since this morning, and it continues to rain. As you can see here on the uh, looping radar, everything kind of working off slowly towards the west. We've got another area of showers and thunderstorms here north of Green Bay near the uh, Peshtigo area coming into Coleman and Pound. But once again, a lot of this is just hit or miss compared to where we've been seeing the steady heavy rain with some embedded thunderstorms throughout the afternoon. As we widen the scope even more, you can see where this storm is circulating right now across the state of Wisconsin. It's basically located uh, right across central Wisconsin. The satellite picture shows that this afternoon. The main thunderstorms, as far as severe weather is concerned, are way to our south across lower Michigan, Indiana, down at, uh, to Kentucky, where they're expecting a significant severe weather outbreak today. Of course, we had all those tornadoes in Iowa yesterday. They're expecting uh, wind damage and tornadoes across the Ohio Valley as we move through the rest of the afternoon and evening. You can see where the system has having the, is, is having the highest impact as far as cooling conditions down. Only 71 in Chicago, 73 in Marquette. Green Bay, the Fox Valley, has had a punch of dry air kind of work in from the east and has eroded the clouds, and that's why temperatures have taken off. Meanwhile, out to the west, we have temperatures close to 80 or in the 90s off to our south and west. Now, as this whole system kind of slowly 